Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video, I'll be using Faithful Heart, Heart Shop Elements. This is the Always Kit, Always Faithful Kit. And I just wanted to use these elements and some of the wordings from this Bible Kit. They have scripture references. Most Etsy shops, they give you the scripture references to kind of help you. But sometimes your elements, you want to use them in other places. And if you know and have been with my channel for a long time, you know, I use these elements everywhere for every reason for different scriptures. And that's just the versatility of using Bible kits. As you can see, I'm pointing to some of the elements. I marked off 7-Eleven on them. Oh, I'm going to use that for my uh, feed page. But I marked off 7-Eleven so I can remember what elements I wanted to use. I've also cut these out of my, off of my Cricut machine. And every time I use my Cricut machine, I always say, wow, what? Why aren't I using this any um, more often? So I cut this tag out and I had that tag left over from somewhere and I decided to use it. Just trying something a little different with my page, adding some big elements and things and maybe some of this distress ink on the back. And we're going to see how it works out. This is actually going to be part one of this video and I'll do part two as a word nerd study. So you will see that in the video at some point where I just get the word and that's it. I've got my daubers and I am ready to go. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. Thank you guys for so many words of encouragement on my last video concerning my husband and him having surgery and procedure done. And he is progressing well. Thank you for your praise and concerns. I love you guys and I really appreciate it. And I really do pray for you guys. Anytime any of you mention something in my comments or email me if I get a hint that you're struggling with something because I write your name down and briefly what it was you know in the video that you said you know minister to you or this whole video and I'm praying for you so I just want to let you know you are on my prayer list I love you guys take care okay the scripture in Psalm 7 11 reads God is a just God is a just judge and is angry with the wicked every day what just stuck out with me with this was I read this scripture years ago. Someone that I knew who was really close to me was really struggling with something and someone else was doing something, some things really bad and and um, purposeful and being hurtful on purpose with this individual. And this individual is clearly being evil and allowing Satan to use him to do these kinds of things. So I was reading a scripture one day and I came across 7-Eleven and I never forgot it because it reminds me of the store 7-Eleven. That's why I'm doing it. I decided to change the color because I didn't copyright. I didn't want them to think or someone to report me that I'm using their image. So I decided to just cut out my own 7-Eleven and use that. So I text the individual and told her that, you know, don't worry about it. Of course, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And I just read a scripture that said that God is angry with the wicked every day. So when I get discouraged or when, when I get angry about what's going on in the world or society and just the evil and the wickedness that people do and the hatred that's just spewing out of people in and out of the church and you can find comfort knowing that your God sees your father my father sees what the wicked is doing and that it won't prosper what they're doing it just seems like they're prospering it seems like they're getting over with what they do but they're not they're not and this reminds me so I just wanted to put really big bold elements here to remind myself and to remind you that whatever you're going through if you are struggling with anything or anyone who is acting wicked and ungodly toward you in and out of the church no vengeance vengeance belongs to the Lord and remember that when people do evil and people do wicked things he is angry with them every day and in that word nerd when I looked up the word angry and I'll do that in part two but it says that he foams at the mouth he is enraged. So please do not think that God is sitting on the throne and he is just removed from his children. He isn't. He is foaming, metaphorically, you know, foaming at the mouth. He is enraged at the wickedness that is before him in the earth. So don't worry about it. God is still in control. God bless you. I hope you were blessed by this video and this short nugget. Take care.